Now let's move forward in time two weeks so you can begin to see how quickly the compost works. And a compost like this in two weeks from now will be of almost half the size. So let's do that right now and go check it out. Okay, this compost was started two weeks ago and today we're going to turn it. When I first started this compost, it was actually up to here, which is about a little bit over four feet. And notice how it's a good four feet wide. And you need this kind of depth as well as height in order to create like a combustion, to get the heat to come in and to really be able to cook this compost. But it's very important to also turn it because if you don't turn it, it becomes anaerobic, which means without oxygen, and then it begins to smell like rotten eggs, and we don't want that. So by turning it, you're aerating it, and you're also allowing the top layers to go on the bottom and consequently have the opportunity to decompose while what's inside gets all turned and turned around. So we're gonna be doing a little bit of this work right here. Notice how already you can see some layers of soil being, being made in the middle of it. And, and in a sense, it's already beginning to cook. There's a process that's already begun in the middle. And this will take some time to turn it. And what I have set up here is a three bin system. The first bin is where I start my compost and then consequently I flip it over to the second bin. It's a little lower because I don't need as much height. This was almost five feet at the beginning, and here we're probably gonna come down to about the same height. It gives me the opportunity to then start a whole new compost and be able to work with a whole new mixture. And by the time I get to the third bin, I have a, a pretty much finished product. It'll be ready to then be applied to your garden within a week or so, and we're ready to go. If you use this three bean system and you turn it every two weeks at most, you should have compost ready within six weeks.